what's up? All right, so here it is. Uh, very next day. Have not had time to go over to Amarillo yet. I'm going to um, take advantage of some really nice weather today. It is an awesome 80 degree, super sunny, not a cloud in sight day here in the Texas Panhandle and only a little bit of breeze. So I figured put all my accessories on that I've got so far um, and then go over to Amarillo, grab my paperwork, get all that nightmare figured out and get my stickers, my numbers, put them on there and go hunt down a lithium ion battery. I'll put all the links of all the accessories that I'm going to show you today down below in the description where if you want to pick them up yourself, all you got to do is go down to the description, click the link, take you over to Amazon, add to cart, and then check out. It's as simple as that. Let's go over some of these accessories and put them on. All right, so I'm sure in the background you can see Gracie and Allie. Gracie, of course, is the white horse. Allie, her mother, she's brown. They're, uh, they're our pets. They're good horses. Anyway, getting into it. First and foremost, we got the Yak Attack Omega Universal Fishing Rod Holder. So the Omega Pro Universal Fishing Rod Holder, excuse me. Um, they go onto these rails, super, super easy system. You'll open up the fishing rod holder, throw the switch all the way out to the side. That comes straight out the bide into the uh, the rail it shouldn't matter which way it goes but there it is and then you slide it back and forth um, on the very bottom you'll see how you want it all to line up just like that I mean it's so easy a caveman can do it sort of a thing the nice thing about these is you can put them just about anywhere you want and they are extremely sturdy uh, to where while you're fishing if you want them forward or back i think uh, for right now we're going to go just a little bit more forward and take the rest of the piece right on top and that's it and it's extremely sturdy and stable if you want to move it all you got to do is throw the lever again loosen it up and you can go from left to right side to side with it so for right now we'll just leave that there we're also going to be putting on a cup holder so the cup holder that i'm adding as well is the yak attack multi-mount cup holder super super easy system all you gotta do is take the bottom screw slide it into the rail system Take your rubber ring, put it on there, and then screw the cup on. The reason I like the Yak Attack so much is, I mean, there's a bunch of different brands, but they are extremely um, friendly and easy to use. Very, very simple design, extremely reliable, great system. The next accessory that we're going to be adding to the kayak today is the Yak Attack GT cleat system. Oh, the Yak Attack GT cleat installs incredibly easy. Get it to where you want it, and then screw it on down. This is a super, super easy accessory that has endless uses. Simple. And to move it, you just unscrew it, and you can scoot it down either way, and get it wherever you want, and then it's set. I highly recommend getting at least three or four of these. I'm gonna add three more, including this one to it. So another accessory that we're adding to the kayak is the Yak Attack double header with dual roto grip paddle holders. It slips on the same way, same basic uh, rail system. So that's a fantastic and great system for not only your paddle, but anchor pull or an anchor stick or whatever you want to call them. And anything else that you might have like a, um, a camera pole or camera rod that you can actually set in here and then throw these over and it's not going to be going anywhere. So multi-function as well. 
So another accessory that we're gonna be adding to the kayak is a Yak Attack Boomstick Pro. Uh, it's a camera mount. So the base just opens up, the bottom base comes off. You just slide your base on to where you want it. And there, now that's good. Screw that down. Lock in your pull. So by simply pushing in on this mechanism here, you can actually pick up and rotate where you want the pole and the boom stick to be. I'm gonna zoom out, you can actually see. So if I were to take it and angle it back just a little bit and get the perspective from where it would be and where I intend to mount it, it's gonna look something about like that to where you'll get the back of my chair maybe a little bit higher you'll be able to see me cast you'll get my entire view out from everything so kind of excited about this one kind of uh interested to, to see what it's going to look like this is it it's not 100 percent complete we still have to go get the stickers but we put a bunch of accessories on and kind of got it ready to do some crappie fishing. I think Monday's high is uh, 92 degrees.